Hello and welcome to another C++ tutorial. In this tutorial, as you can see, I've already written a statement in Cout, which is used in C++ for throwing output to the console, 2 plus 7. So I'm just writing out an expression so that you could see that you can calculate an expression even without the parentheses in C++ will going to give you an output. So here you can see 2 plus 7, and as I run this by uh, clicking the local Windows debugger, or I could use the keyboard shortcut, and here I can see the output of 9. Similarly, if I have a more complicated operation, such which includes multiplication uh, as well as addition, according to the rules of PEMDAS, which is parentheses supersedes exponents and exponents supersedes multiplication division, which are at the same level, which supersedes addition subtraction, which are at the same level. So if in any given expression I have multiplication and addition, the multiplication will always take place before the addition takes place. Similarly, in any given expression, if I have both addition and subtraction or multiplication and division, since addition and subtraction are at the same level of precedence, and multiplication and division are also the same level of precedence, we're going to simply go from left to right. So now for this one, it will first multiply 2 times 7, which is 14, and I'm going to add 5 to it, which is 19. So if I run this program, you can see in the output that it gives me the output of 19. But if I put 7 plus 5 in parentheses, now 7 plus 5, which is the addition, will going to take place before the multiplication. So 7 plus 5, it is 12 times 2. Now the answer will going to be 24. As you can see, the answer is 24, which is 24, which is 12 times 2. Similarly, in any given expression, if I have addition and subtraction, so 2 minus 7, which is negative 5, plus 5, which is 0. So as I run this particular application, since both addition and subtraction are the same on the same line, it simply goes from left to right. So these are some of the ways that you could use your operators right within the console, your expressions. Uh, in the next set of tutorial, we're going to learn about how you can use them in a variable and how you can do your, all your computations in a variable, store them in a variable, and then display the output of the variable on the screen.